Hey everyone, Ryan Tweet here, and in this video we're going to talk about the deal stage and the deal flow uh, for the lead nurturing system. So we're going to just jump right in. All right, uh, we're going to go through just the, the layout really quickly before we actually go into the nitty-gritty details about the uh, lead process. So as you see here, um, all the leads will basically start to go in on this side, and uh, they'll fill up the nurture category. So we're going to nurture these leads until we can schedule an appointment. That's the first goal. Okay. Um, so from here, um, we can see this basic uh, flow state. Um, up here is the um, organizational bar that allows us to, you know, organize the owners of, you know, who, uh, you know, the owner of, of the lead. We can, you know, select different owners for uh, different leads. So if you have, you know, multiple salespeople on your team, um, we can, you know, give some leads to some and some to the other. Uh, we can automate that a little bit. Um, also, it allows us to filter uh, the leads that are still open versus the leads that you know we we won in terms of making the sale or the leads that we lost because of you know whatever reason that might be. We can also filter by tags. Um, tags are um, probably not going to necessarily need to get into that at this point. So then, but we can then click advance. So you can start to look at leads between certain times, updated between certain times. Uh, deal values, you know, next task type, um, and you can really get in, you know, contains keywords. So you can get into filtering uh, the leads over a specific timeline. So this is very good for, you know, if you're accounting for how many leads were generated in a specific month, uh, you can go ahead and click, you know, here, uh, and then select the, you know, the time, and then all of a sudden all the deals that are created in that time will show up here. Um, another way you can look at this as well is go ahead and click this button, and this is based on tasks. So you can you can see what tasks are overdue, what tasks were, what leads don't have a task assigned. Um, you want to make sure that you always have tasks for leads, um, so that you're always staying on top of them, always uh, working the leads and and you know treating this as a real sales process, uh, just like any other business. And uh, so we want to have leads uh, that have tasks, and uh, this is for the column of upcoming tasks, so you know things that need to be do, uh, done later on. And then these are tasks that are scheduled later on. So for an example, um, this contact record, which I didn't even spell my name right, uh, this contact record um, has a call in two days, um, you know, uh, or, and we're gonna uh, basically call uh, the lead and schedule the appointment. Um, so we can go ahead and click on this stuff, it's really nice. Let me update this name here. Um, all right, and let's go back to the deal. So you see how you know we can change the layout of here. All right, so that's the basic um, layout of how this all works. Um, and also, let's go in here and uh, oops, we're gonna do a couple other things here real quick. Um, in edit state, we can go ahead and click the gear button to edit stage, and we can sort the the uh, the leads in these stages based on you know certain criteria. We can also make the width longer if we want to. Um, uh, change color, blah blah blah. But what was most important here is, uh, you know, selecting, um, you know, how you want to organize a lead. So, for an example, it's you know next uh, next action needed um, descending. So you know, for the next call that needs to go out will be the the one that's on the top, and then the second text call will be on the bottom. So we can do it by action needed, or we can do it by the deal age. Now the deal age is uh, you know the 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 newest leads coming in will go to the top, and the oldest leads will kind of go to the bottom. Um, you know, this is good when you're kind of getting started and you got a lot coming in. But I still recommend, um, uh, you know, implementing a uh, a task based approach, so that way you're always staying on top of the leads themselves. All right, so this is how uh, this is how we do that. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below. Um, and I uh, look forward to talking to you on the next video. And in the next video, we're also going to go more into the deal flow and then how to move deals through, how to mark them as won, how to mark them as lost. Um, you know, there's a number of ways to process through that. So I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.